Here's one of my favorite questions where you need to look at the image and calculate the missing number. You're presented with four triangles. One triangle in the middle is larger than the others and it has number three inside. There are three other triangles at the tips of the big triangle. The numbers inside those smaller triangles, if we start with the bottom right triangle, are five, nine, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 13. Choice B, 15. Choice C, 17. And last but not least, choice D, 21. Take a close look to see if you can complete the calculations and make the right choice. Did you figure it out? I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. If you are a frequent visitor to this channel, you know the rule. And the rule is, to complete the calculations and solve the challenge, you need to understand the pattern. And the pattern here is very simple. It's a counterclockwise navigations when you do the calculations. You start with the smallest number 3, and then calculate number 5, calculate number 9, and then calculate the missing number. In this pattern, to calculate the next number in the sequence, you need to double the previous number and subtract 1. Let's look at the example. The first number is 3. To calculate the next number, we need to add 3 plus 3, then subtract 1, and the end result of this is 5. Let's go to the next number. 5 plus 5 minus 1 equals 9. That's how we got the number on top in the small triangle. And now let's calculate the missing number. 9 plus 9 minus 1 equals 17. So the correct answer here is choice C, 17. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your rationale and solution in comments. Here's a very interesting question which might make you think, but hopefully you will get it very quickly. If five people can sew five shirts in five minutes, how long will it take for 100 people to sew 100 shirts? You're presented with four different choices. Choice A, 500 minutes. Choice B, 100 minutes. Choice C, five minutes. And last but not least, choice D, 60 minutes. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can get to the right answer. And on my end, I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Here's the trick. If five people can sew five shirts in five minutes, we can say that one person can sew a shirt in five minutes. Now, if 100 people work together, their combined productivity will be 100 that of a one person. Because we can scale up so easily in this production, it will take 100 people five minutes to sew 100 shirts. So the correct answer here is choice C five minutes. Did you get to the same answer? If you didn't, please make sure to share your answer and rationale in comments. Here's an amazing question to test your spatial reasoning. You're presented with the three-dimensional view and you need to select view from the opposite side out of four possible choices. The choices are A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can select the right solution. Please look closely as it may not be as easy as it seems. Are you ready? Because I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And if you have a better way to solve it, obviously please make sure to post in comments. If your answer to this question was choice C, you answered it correctly. There are four objects on the original three-dimensional image. We have a duck, we have a basketball, we have a smartphone, and we have a hammer, which is barely noticeable on the original picture. And the easiest way to solve this challenge is to select one object and track it on the opposite side. I selected a duck, but you can as well select a hammer or a smartphone. It is a little bit harder with the ball because it's in the middle and it's a symmetrical object. So let's go back to the duck. If you look at the original image, you see that the duck is looking to the left and it is on the left side of the ball. Which means that if we look from the opposite side, the duck will be looking to the right and would be on the right side of the ball. We frequently see these types of questions on the test. So to help you solve these types of challenges, here are the views of these objects from a different sides. Take a look at these objects from the right, from the left side, and take a look at this set of objects when duck and the ball have changed the position. I wanted to ask you, did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments. 
as well as you can supplement it with some tips on how to solve these types of challenges. Here's the very interesting drum problem, which I have full confidence that you will solve very quickly. You're presented with three drums, and the next drum in the sequence is missing. You need to select the next drum out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Did you figure it out? You would be surprised how simple the answer is. And that's why I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To solve this challenge, we need to understand the pattern. And the pattern will help us get to the correct solution. Even though drums and drumsticks look similar, this is not the case. If you look closely, you will see that only drumsticks are the same. But drums are different because they have dotted designs on each drum. Let me assign a unique number to each drum in the sequence. We will reference these drums as 1, 2, 3, and then the missing drum we will reference as number 4. Let's look closely at drum number 1. On the top of the drum 1, dotted pattern consists only of the white dots. But as it continues, you see different colors. Let's follow these colors. We have white, yellow, blue, pink, purple, and green. If we go to drum number two, you see that the dotted pattern shifts as it goes from left to right, and then this pattern restarts. For example, the last dot in the drum one is green, but then in drum two, this green dot restarts the pattern. To get to the correct answer, we need to continue shifting the pattern and get to the correct pattern for drum number four. And the correct pattern for drum number four will be pink, purple, green, white, yellow, and blue. And drum that matches this pattern will be choice C. Did you get to the correct solution? If not, please make sure to post your solution and rationale in comments. I love this question because it tests your spatial reasoning and analytical skills so well. You're presented with overlapping set of objects. We have in the picture pink square, red star, gray circle, yellow star, green circle, blue box, and pink diamond. In the middle of the picture, we have a gap where nothing is presented, and this gap is represented by the question mark. You need to fill the gap with one of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look at the picture to see if you can fill the gap and find the missing object. I'm pretty sure you got it, because I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. The correct answer here is choice C. Let's confirm and verify it by moving this choice to fill the gap. To solve these types of challenges, you need to mentally build the object in your head by continuing to visualize in your head one of the existing objects in the picture. I used green circle. It is very obvious which choice would continue the green circle. But you can also use yellow star, blue square, or pink square. Do you know any other ways how to solve these problems? Please make sure to post your ideas on how to better solve them in comments. Thanks for watching. If the content was helpful, please give us a like and consider subscribing. This is the way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure to deliver it for you in the future. For links and resources referenced in this video, please check the description. You can also go directly to our website howtoanalyzedata.net to find what you're looking for and download the materials. We really thank you for your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.